Hi, how are you doing? Steve West here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to um, how to do a uh, Facebook page um, for your business. So this is very, very useful to get your business out to a much wider audience through Facebook. Now, a lot of people don't really want to use their Facebook account because they've got it linked up with their friends and their family and uh, they prefer to keep their business separate. So using your Facebook page is a good way to go because you can have it with the same account but only those people that you choose from your friends group to like the page and people not from your friends group at all to like the page will see your page and will be able to see your posts from your page as well so you can control it fairly nicely uh, now the first thing you want to do is on your home page here if you go to the search box at the top and if you type in uh, create a Facebook page okay and uh, if we just hit enter return now you'll see this button here come up saying create page if you click that one and you get these six options to choose from depending on what kind of business that you are uh, marketing uh, now obviously most of these are pretty self-explanatory um, <clears throat> so just to let you know if you were to choose calls cause and Sorry, cause or community, um, you need to be aware that, first of all, other people, because it's a community, other, other members will also have control uh, of the admin as well, not just yourself. And once it reaches, I think it's about 10,000 subscribers, supposedly Facebook could take over the admin as well. So that might not be what you want. Um, uh, so just bear that in mind. So generally speaking, the one I use is this, brand or product. I mean, if you've got a local business with a shop and you know, maybe you choose this one um, or a big organization, you go for this one. So you choose the one you want, just click on it, and then you need to just choose your category. Uh, for example, a website or you know, uh, a kitchen and cooking, or depending on what it is, choose your category, name your business, and agree to the terms and conditions. Click get started, and that's it. And your page is created instantly. Um, and I'll show you uh, my page just so you've got. How's that? <laughs> okay, this is my page um, that I've got at the moment. Now it's a fairly new page, uh, so <clears throat> I've done a header for myself there, and I've got my profile picture. And if I scroll down, I've got. Uh, little intro to my landing page <clears throat> I have my landing page website here so people can click on that go to my landing page uh, which is here just close that down now I've also just accumulated 38 likes so far uh, so it's still in the early stages I only had this one up a few weeks uh, or about a month or so <clears throat> and I've also connected here I've connected my Aweber account to uh, sign up form on my Aweber account as well. So that's something else you can do if you're collecting email subscribers. And oh, hang on, let me just go back. Now on my page, I've got things like uh, there's various little quotes and things I've uploaded as well but generally speaking what I mainly use this for is my blog posts here's a blog post I wrote uh, this morning I put that out there and there's another one I did yesterday and also I put my YouTube videos on here as well for people to see and I also click uh, generally I like quite like motivational quotes and things so if I find something like that that's related to business or success or inspiration then I'll put it on there uh, that's one of my YouTube videos I put that on there um, and that's generally it really now to collect likes what you do is when we go back up to the top go back up to the top here okay you'll have this is some people in my friends group um, and I can scroll down and select these people to I'll invite them to like my page and then providing they like it they'll then start to see everything that I put in my news feed um, in my status here if I put a blog post on there or a new video or something else and excuse me <clears throat> um, <clears throat> also I use this in conjunction with Twitter as well where I might start to um, meet people on Twitter and I'll send them my Facebook page as well 
Now, the really clever thing about this is that if I've got, say, so I've got at the moment, I've only got, I've got currently 38 people that like the page. So every time, every time I put that up there, those 38 people will see what I'm putting there straight away. But if one of those likes my post, for example, it's a blog post or likes my video, and that person has, say, a thousand friends in their friends group, then potentially my post or my video will be in front of those thousand people as well because it will come up in their news feed saying, oh, such and such person likes Steve West's post on whatever it is. And you've also got the social proof of that person liking it as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So that is a, a, a massive benefit. And then over time, you just accumulate more and more um, people to like your page. And, and that's it. So, um, yeah, I hope the video was useful for you and um, have fun creating your Facebook page. Bye for now.